Good morning and welcome back to another vlog, the final vlog of the year. Um, I'm really excited. I'm so excited for today. I've woken up in the best mood because I just, yeah, I'm just really buzzing for today. It feels like it gets to this point in the year and things start to wind down a bit and we're able to have a bit more like family time and friend time and like the festivities truly have started. I put Ralph in his Christmas jumper this morning. Like Christmas is here. <laughs> And we're gonna have a very festive day, I feel. Um, I've just got ready. Let's talk about the jumper in a moment. The jumper, I know, I can't believe I actually had my hands on it. Um, I've just got ready for the day, showered, dressed. I'm ready to roll. Um, and then we're gonna drop Ralph off around my parents, um, which is basically my parents thing in the world. I have to like prize Ralph out of my mom's hands whenever I go to pick him up. Um, she just loves showing him off to all of her neighbours and her friends. So he's probably gonna go take him for a walk. Spoil him rotten, I'm sure, whilst Mark and I are in town. Then we're gonna come back, we're gonna pick him up and we're gonna come back here because Father Christmas is visiting this house. Yes, he's making an early stop to this house and I'm very excited about it. It's all courtesy of Space NK. The PR ladies that run the whole Space NK shebang are just adorable. And they do this every year. They do little doorstop drop-offs um, and they're gonna come here. And I'm excited for them to meet Ralph for the first time. I'm excited for Father Christmas to meet Ralph for the first time. Photo opportunities galore. And also he's, he's at the age where he's not terrified <laughs> to be put onto strangers' laps just yet. He might sort of like look and be like, hmm, this is interesting, but he won't scream. Fingers crossed. Now I've said that, he's gonna scream. <laughs> but I think it's gonna be very, very cute. So I've dressed him up in his Christmas jumper. I'm good to go. Mark is good to go. Let's start the super time consuming mission of actually leaving the house. <laughs> I know I said no more knitwear, but this jumper, this jumper has been on my like reading list on my laptop since before I had Ralph. We're talking months and months. It was back in the summer that I saw this. It's been out of stock since. I think it's gone back out of stock again, but I would really, really recommend like, if you like it, put it in your reading list and just keep checking back. I will let you know as well if this comes back into stock um, because I've just been <laughs> so, so obsessed. It's almost like the high street version of the totem jumper that everyone loves, um, which I did actually buy at one point. I got my hands on it and then it had a roll neck and I remembered that I have a round face and really heavy roll necks really are not the vibe for me. Um, so this half zip jumper is a much more flattering style. Um, and also I've seen they're coming out with it in a black and caramel stripe. I know, gorgeous. And um, yeah, I'm just wearing this today. I'm wearing jeans, although I might change these for leather trousers just to be a bit more fancy. And then I've got the fluffiest. <laughs> These are from Our Daily Edit. I'll link them down below. My feet get so toasty in these. Super, super toasty. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to throw on a coat, maybe some other trousers, and then time to head out. children's shop to a new edition was closed, which is probably a good thing, because that place is amazing. Yeah. And we bought so much cheese. Yeah, we've ordered our Christmas cheese. Yeah, we've got our Christmas like cheese board for Christmas Day, so that's all sorted now. Um, it's brilliant, it's called Barney's. Um, definitely worth checking out. There's one in Hove as well. There's like a cafe in Hove on Portland Road. And there's a delicatessen in Brighton on Kensington Gardens. And honestly, this is heavy. <laughs> <laughs> Do not go to a cheese shop when you're hungry because you will spend a lot of money on cheese. I know, yeah, we should have gone after lunch, shouldn't we? We should have. Yeah. Bad move. Yeah. Now we're going to go eat. Oh, yeah.
I would share with you what we picked up in town. So the deli that we were at was called Barney's, the one that we were like, don't go here when you're hungry. I mean, I can't even show you everything that we bought. It was so much cheese. We got some crackers, some Barty's chili jam. I don't know why, it's been really fancy, like a crumpet with some of the melted Waitrose Cornish quartz on top with like chili jam. That just sounds amazing to me. These are so good. They're called Lancashire Bombs. It's one of my favorite types of cheese. It's very cheddary, crumbly, delicious. So we got one of these for basically everyone that we know <laughs> as a Christmas gift. And then we also got um, a truffle one for us. Love a bit of truffle. And I got the um, plantain black truffle flavored mayonnaise. And then I was at the till and this lady was like, you need to try this. This is the honey with summer truffles. Um, yes, please, these sound delicious. And they were so sweet in there, just really, really friendly and super helpful. And like a local business with loads of Sussex cheese, like such a good place if you're local and you wanna pick up a little gift for someone. And then I saw this new shop, it's called Ann Holt because Rudy and Ralph are gonna meet next week. I can't wait. Ralph and Rudy, they sound like such a good pair. Obviously, so excited to see the two of them with Grey as well. Like, they're just gonna be so cute together. Um, and it's Lily's birthday today, on the day that I'm filming this video. And I ordered her something off of Truva um, a couple of days ago, like a collection of mini vases, but I just don't think they're gonna arrive on time. I'm getting like shipping notifications to say they're not gonna be here till next week. So I thought, you know what? I'm gonna get Lily a vase just in case. This is from a brand called DBKD. And I just thought this was a very funky, cool vase. Might be nice in her new little loft extension. She got us a vase as a moving in gift. Let me share with you. This one, I have no idea where she got it. It has no brand name on it, but she got us this vase when we moved in to our flat. So that's like six, seven years ago now. And it's just a brilliant vase. So I hope that she enjoys this vase equally. And again, such a good shop, a small local business. They've actually only been open for five weeks. So it's very early days around there. Um, but again, the guy was super helpful. They had lovely stock in there. Very, very good for gift giving. So now we're just waiting for Father Christmas to make his grand arrival. <laughs> that was the most adorable thing. And we managed to get a family photo of us all together. You enjoyed it, didn't you? You enjoyed it. It was ridiculously cute. Thank you so much to the ladies from Space NK for sorting that out because that was so special. Honestly, Father Christmas was getting quite a crowd. He just gets mobbed everywhere he goes. Um, it was really, really lovely. It made me a bit emotional. It made me a bit emotional. It was very, very sweet. The little man is down and Mark has been preparing the cheese and crackers feast downstairs i'm very excited bring it on give me that lancashire bomb <laughs> give me the truffle honey mm. and the new sex in the city came out tonight like oh we are in for a good evening um but that was adorable like ralph meeting father christmas for the first time was too cute maybe like a little bit emotional in places oh my god emotional is like my buzzword at the moment <laughs> He did not cry. He had a photo with Father Christmas and he did not cry. Great success. Father Christmas told me this was like very, very rare, um, but he wasn't too crazy. Father Christmas got out like an accordion to like sing a little song. Wasn't a fan, wasn't really vibing with that. <laughs> but it was so adorable and um, just big love to the Space NK girls for putting that together. It was really special and just so lovely and generous of them. And actually I've just been, I've been thinking a lot about Christmas and families and kids. And for that reason, I just want to pass all the festivities and like good vibes and lots of love like on to other families and children so for that reason all of the adsense from this video is going to go to home start i'm going to put all of the information about them in the description box down below if you also wish to donate for christmas but thank you for your viewership on this video because that helps make the donation even bigger to them so thank you so much for that it's just that it's just that time of year you know it gets me in the feels and yeah i just feel so lucky and grateful for what we have so i really wish all of you guys the best christmas holiday season i hope you have a wonderful time i hope you're happy and you're safe and you're well and thank you so much for all of the support that you've given us over the past 12 months it truly truly means the world um there is one more video for the year of course it's a makeup yearly favorites i mean i just i couldn't i couldn't go a year without doing that so that is coming your way next sunday and then we'll be back in the new year wow what 2022 bring it on but sending all of the love your way 
big kisses and I'll see you soon. Bye.